Hey everybody, in this reading we'll be looking at things uh, that didn't come through in my other readings for whatever reason. Um, and these things could be about love, work, friendship, trips, whatever comes up. I'll do a couple of spreads and maybe um, additional clarification or outcome spreads if necessary. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. Here's the first um, lost message for you, Cancer. Now, we have the Five of Swords, clarified by the Nine of Swords. We have the Queen of Swords, clarified by the Ten of Wands. We have the Eight of Pentacles, clarified by the Six of Pentacles. And uh, we also have the Nine of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Well, I'm a little surprised to see a spread like this, but uh, uh, this is a, a lost message is serious. Alright, so we'll be looking at two different lost messages. So um, this lost message, message is about this Queen of Swords struggling. And uh, I think this Queen of Swords is going to come to you for help, um, Cancer. And this has something to do with work, business, and finances. From what I see here is like this person either just recently got fired or will be getting fired or they will be laid off from their work. And that perhaps you can assist them and help them find a job. You know, even if you can think of how can I help this person right now? I'm not in a position of helping, but perhaps, you know, <laughs> think think about it. Think what you can do. Um, it's it almost feels like a bit of a test from the universe for you, Cancer. Okay? Yeah, that's what I see here, basically. You got this Queen of Swords, uh, the third card from the left, clarified by the Ten of Wands. So the Queen of Swords is most likely an air sign, uh, uh, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. They're clarified by the Ten of Wands, which is a card of a burden. Yeah, they're struggling. And what they're struggling with is their work situation because they are either about to get fired or laid off or they just recently did. To the left from the Queen of Swords, we have the Five of Swords clarified by the Nine of Swords, right? The Five of Swords, this is when people sever ties. And uh, since I believe this is a, a spread of work, business, and finances, they either got fired or they had to leave, they had to quit or they got laid off. And uh, the Nine of Swords, clarifying the Five of Swords, yeah, they're going through a rough patch in their life. The way they see you is the person in the Nine of Pentacles. I think that's the way they see you, right there. This is a card of somebody who is doing very well financially. This is a card of somebody who is self-sufficient, independent, somebody maybe in the center of attention, somebody who is like well-versed when it comes to finances. Perhaps you know people, perhaps you have a lot of connections, right? And uh, at the end, right next to the deck, we have the Eight of Pentacles clarified by the Six of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles is a card of work, business, and finances. The Six of Pentacles clarifying that, I, it, perhaps this is you who can sort of help them with either finding a job or uh, send them in, in, the, in the right direction, a system filing paperwork for an employee. I don't know. But from what I see here, I think you're you're going to be facing this Queen of Swords and their issues and uh, they're going to be asking you for help. Well, um, Cancer, let's take a look at the advice spread, just in case. So here's the advice for you, um, Cancer, when it comes to what we saw in the first spread. We have the Three of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, um, the Page of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. As you can see, every single card is a Pentacle card, so yes, it is definitely work, business, and finances related, right? Yeah, the advice for you is to help them out. Whatever you can do, whatever, you know, you know think about it. Don't just dismiss this uh, person right away. I think it will be, it will come back to you in the, fu in the future in a good way. Somehow, uh, if you can find this person a job or, you know, steer this person in the right direction, I think, you know, it's like karma. And the common misconception is that karma is always negative. It's not. It's definitely not. Karma is a very complex thing, you know. But if we do strip it down, so to speak, to bare bones, so it's either negative or positive. So I think if you don't dismiss this person, if you don't ignore this person and at least try to help them in some shape or form, I think it will come back to you in a big way at some point in the future. It's very positive karma, right? These are all pentacles on the table. Yeah, three of pentacles is a card of a collaboration. The ace of pentacles could be a golden opportunity or job offer or, or something. The page of pentacles could also be paperwork or some money or what have you. 
Okay, so yeah, cancer. I'm not gonna spend that much time, <laughs> any more time on this because we already talked about all of it, right? If you can find something, if you can find a way to help them out, the system, please do. All right, let's move on to the next uh, spread real quick. Here's another lost message for you, uh, Cancer. We have Strength, clarified by the King of Cups. We have the Page of Pentacles, clarified by the Star. We have the Nine of Cups, clarified by the Chariot and the Two of Cups. And we also have the Page of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You're probably dealing with a fellow water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, but we also have Leo and uh, Aquarius on the table. Well, let's establish a couple of things, Cancer. <laughs> I assume uh, the King of Cups is somebody coming towards you. I also assume the Chariot closer to the deck, clarifying the Nine of Cups, that's you. Okay, the Chariot is your major Arcana card, Cancer. The King of Cups, all the way to your left, is most likely a fellow water sign. Or somebody with a lot of water in their chart. If they're not a water sign, they could be somebody who is very mature in control of their emotions, but at the same time very loving when it comes to you. Alright, and uh, this person is about to ask you out. Yep, they are about to ask you out, and it's going to be a very uh, happy, <laughs> happy day for you. Well, actually, for both of you. For both of you, it's going to be a very happy day. Perhaps you've been waiting or anticipating or hoping that this person will ask you out. I don't know. But I see you happy. I see you being happy about this, right? So we have the Page of Cups on the bottom of the deck, and we also have that Page of Pentacles, the third card from the left, clarified by the star. Um, those pages are probably talking about the same thing, right? They're, uh, this is them asking you out, and perhaps they will buy, they will get like tickets to a show, tickets to a game, tickets to a movie, <laughs> or the Page of Pentacles, maybe paperwork, perhaps they will find some kind of an excuse uh, to get together with you, right? Um, whenever I get two or more pages in the same spread, I always mention children. Perhaps children are somehow a part of, a part of it. You could be a single parent, they could be a single parent, and perhaps your kids go to the same school or go to the same playground, what have you. Right? So that could also be a, a part of this equation for some of you. But going back to that King of Cups, they're clarifying strength. <laughs> strength could be a Leo you're dealing with. They may have Leo in their chart, but at the same time, strength could be a card of somebody who is holding back, so perhaps they they held back up until this point, or at the same time, strength is a card of courage. <laughs> perhaps this person had to have courage to approach you. Maybe they're just really shy, or whatever circumstances you have surrounding this encounter, maybe it was just a little inappropriate up until this point. For some of you, you could be working with this person, or you know, you could be, you know, dealing with this person on a daily basis, weekly basis, and perhaps up until this point they thought it was not really appropriate to ask you out, but uh, they will. <laughs> they will in the very near future, right? So yeah, we already talked about those two pages. Uh, this is them asking out. Um, the page of Pentacles is clarified by the star. Could be an Aquarius you're dealing with. The star is a card of a wish come true. Something people usually wish for or hope for for a very long time. The Nine of Cups, the next card to the right from the star, is also a wish come true card. So when the, the Nine of Cups showed up first and then the, when the Page of Pentacles is clarified by the star, right? This is simply a confirmation from the universe that yes, this is a wish come true. It could be a wish come true for both of you. Perhaps it's a wish come true card per person. <laughs> and the, the Nine of Cups is clarified by the Chariot and the Two of Cups. Right? So you're the chariot, that's your major arcana card, and uh, it's always a good sign to have your own major arcana card in your own reading. And uh, I clarified that one more time, asking how will, just to, just to double check, how will you feel about what's going on, right? Then the Two of Cups showed up, so you're going to be on board. At least you're going to, I think you're going to welcome this. I think you're going to like that, the, at least the fact that they're asking you out. Right, because we have two people in the Two of Cups. It's a card of a soulmate connection, it's a card of um, unconditional love, it's a card of when two people see eye to eye and feel the same way towards one another. So this feels like a very happy encounter. Right, to me personally, the Nine of Cups is a card of somebody who is happy. Right, I assume that when people's wishes are granted, they're happy. <laughs> and besides that, it's a card of uh, satisfaction. Um, I'm not going to do uh, an additional spread for this one. I think you guys can take it from here. This is, it almost feels like the two people, like one of you needs to speak 
You know, it kind of reminds me of those situations when we ride the elevator with the same person every day, but uh, people don't say anything, you know, and perhaps at some point in the very near future, the King of Cups will finally speak. But, you know, it's not really like riding an elevator, but like I said, perhaps this person just needs to have courage to make a move, and uh, I think you're going to welcome it. All right? Cancer, so um, that's what I have for you for this reading, for this time period. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Cancer, have an amazing March.